It's day 39 here at the produce section where I'm going to show you just how easy and affordable it is to eat healthy. We're going to start with romaine lettuce, $1.29. Next we have a red pepper, $1.49. Avocado, 50 cents. Here's a portobello mushroom, and that's going to cost me around a dollar. We also have a red onion, 60 cents. Two russet potatoes, 99 cents. Let's add some fruit, so here's a banana, 18 cents. Mango, on sale, 88 cents. Star fruit, that's the first time doing that one, that's $1.99. And a lemon, 79 cents. So we have a basket full of food. Now let's go see how much this is gonna cost us. The total today was $11.04. Not bad, I'm excited for you to see what we're about to make. I get a lot of questions about weight loss and I will say on this challenge, you will lose weight. I started at 180 pounds and I'm already down to 168, so I've lost over 12 pounds in just a short period of time and I will continue to lose. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel and slice my potatoes into fries and add them to some parchment paper on a baking sheet. I'm then gonna add some salt and chili pepper. I'll then add my fries to the oven and bake at 450 degrees. I'm then gonna cut half of my red pepper into three wedges and then I'm gonna add that to the oven to bake as well. I'm also going to peel and slice my onion into rings and add that to the oven. So in the oven I have onions, peppers, and fries. Now I'm gonna take my portobello mushroom and add it to a pan with some filtered water. Now I'm gonna work on my salad. So here I have my romaine lettuce, half of my avocado, the other half of my red pepper, and some red onion. Now I'm gonna make a really quick dressing. So here I have some sliced mango, half of a lemon, sea salt, organic blue agave, and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I also added just a little bit of filtered water to cut some of that citrus. So here's what that should look like before you blend. What you end up with after you blend is a lemon mango dressing. My portobello mushroom burger just finished, so I'm gonna add that to a bucket. You can see it's nice and juicy. The way you get that is you just keep adding water to the pan as you cook. Next, I'm gonna to top that with some of my baked red onion. Also, I'm gonna add some of my grilled red pepper. You can see those nice grill marks. That's because I didn't add it to the pan, I added it directly to the oven. Next, I'll add in some of my romaine that I had left over from my salad along with the other half of my avocado. I'll top that with just a little bit of lime juice, some sea salt, and a drizzle of balsamic glaze. My fries are done, so I'm gonna add those to a bucket. Look at how perfect those baked fries with that chili seasoning and salt look. Now I'm gonna work on my breakfast. So here is some fresh mango. Next, I'm gonna add my star fruit. So you can see I removed the outside. That was green, the skin, and it wasn't ripe yet, but this is the juicy part that you want. Just make sure to remove the seeds in the center. I'm also going to add my banana, the rest of that lemon juice that I have left over, as well as some tahini that I have left over from an earlier day. So for breakfast, I have a star fruit, mango, banana, fruit salad with lemon juice, and tahin. For lunch, I have a portobello mushroom burger. That's topped with a roasted red pepper, a red onion, romaine lettuce, avocado, balsamic glaze, lemon juice, and a little bit of salt. I also have some baked fries with sea salt and a little bit of chili powder. I'll dip those in some ketchup and maybe some barbecue sauce. The last thing I have is my dinner salad, which is romaine avocado, red peppers, and red onion. I'm gonna add to that a little bit of my mango lemon dressing. 
So that's it. Some people ask me, how do I come up with all these amazing recipes? Well, sometimes I come up with them literally while I'm in the kitchen. So I hope you enjoy them until next time, which is tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Check back here every single day on Facebook and Instagram.